Welcome back into Sports Sunday. For NFL players, summer months are usually spent spending time with family and preparing for the upcoming season. But for some, it's the season of giving. That's right. And this summer, former Grant High standout and current NFL linebacker Shaq Thompson is doing just that, holding a youth football camp for the youngsters here in Sacramento, showing them that you can do anything you put your mind to. Hey, everybody, water up, water up. Water up. Water up. Shaq Thompson feels right at home here, not just because he's on the field, but because he remembers being where these kids are. Well, my family was big, big football family. Um, and every Sunday, I just used to wake up and just go to the camps every Sunday. Here I have them, there'll probably be like 20, 30 people there. We just run stairs, do drills and stuff like that. How old were you back then when you started doing those? Uh, I was like five or six, I was young. So you were little, a little, yeah, little. I was little, yeah. He's bigger now, a starting NFL linebacker, getting ready for his fifth season in Carolina. What do you miss the most about Ca Sacramento and California living in Charlotte now? The weather. <laughs> the weather. It is the humidity out there is just crazy. Oh, that's one thing, then family. There is plenty of family and friends he considers family helping with this Thompson family football camp. We're supposed to do 300 kids, then exceeded to 400. So, I mean, it's a huge jump from first year to this year. So, I mean, I'm excited. We got two groups and, uh, Ready to get these kids rolling. That's dope, man. Like, he came all the way out here just for all of us. Could you have imagined back when you were a little kid, you know, every kid's like, I want to play in the NFL, I want to yeah. play in the league. When did you realize that was a real possibility for you? I mean, that was a dream ever since I was starting playing football. I mean, everybody says you want to have a backup plan. I didn't have a backup plan. To be <laughs> you honest, didn't have a backup plan? You no. Know, my whole mindset and goal was, all right, I'm putting all my marbles and eggs in this basket. If it don't work out, then <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with life. But at the end of the day, it all worked out for me. Just all the hard work and success and family and support. And I'm here now. I know you're not back here often, but do you realize when you come back how big of an impact it has where people can say, hey, he's from Sacramento. I want to be like him. Has that sunk in? I mean, sometimes that takes a few years, some perspective. I mean, it takes some years. I'm not like the type of guy who just like dwells on that, but it does feel good when kids from your area message you on like Instagram or Twitter and be like, man, you're a hero and uh, I'm from Sacramento. I'm, I look up to you and stuff like that. So that really hits hard. I'm just like, man, it's just paving me away for them. It just feels good to have somebody look up from you, look up to you in your own community. He represents a dream achieved for many behind him, but he's far from reaching his own goals. After Carolina's all-time tackles leader left the team after last year, now Thompson sees greatness in his future. I mean, my journey was kind of crazy. Uh, my first four years, I was behind a legend, uh, a GOAT in the community and on the team, uh, Thomas Davis. So I really learned a lot from him and how to carry myself on and off the field, especially as a professional. And um, right now, I mean, it's my turn. So I'm just, honestly, I'm excited. You know what I mean? I'm excited to create my own shoes. I'm tired of like people saying, oh, you got big shoes to fill. Nah, those are his shoes. I got my own shoes to create. All the while understanding a new generation here in Sacramento is trying to follow in his footsteps. Uh, my message would be, man, if you really love football or basketball or whatever profession it is, if it's not a sport, if it's a doctor, a lawyer or anything, really put your mind and focus all into that. Anything can come true. Like my NFL dream came true. Um, a couple of people from Sacramento's NFL, like I say, Eric Armstead, his NFL dream came true. But just stay focused and grind and don't ever listen to nobody telling that you can't do it. And just move, put your head down and keep going. Down to earth and a star in the making. Thompson, the latest in our May series, Hometown Pros. Next week, Marshall catches up with SAC native and now Philly slugger Reese Hoskins. Proof enough that he didn't just go to Philly for the cheesesteak. <laughs>